Although it's a time of great happiness and good cheer for many, Christmas can be hard for those who have lost loved ones. This year especially, I understand why. But for me, in the months since the death of my beloved Philip, I have drawn great comfort from the warmth and affection of the many tributes to his life and work, from around the country, the Commonwealth, and the world. His sense of service, intellectual curiosity, and capacity to squeeze fun out of any situation were all irrepressible. That mischievous, inquiring twinkle was as bright at the end as when I first set eyes on him. But life, of course, consists of final partings as well as first meetings. And as much as I and my family miss him, I know he would want us to enjoy Christmas.